BBC's watchdog are again talking about smart meters, which is great, but they're not talking about the main points. So here are five important main points you need to know about smart meters. One, they are not compulsory. Although all the features we see on Watchdog and other programs in magazines talking about smart meters mention a 2020 deadline that the government say they want everyone to have a smart meter by 2020. Well, they're not compulsory, so just say no. Two, we're being told they're free to install and they don't cost you money. Well, they do cost you money because, and they're not free to install because the cost is being put onto your bill, of course. They also don't save you money. So what's the point of them? Well, we'll get onto that. But they don't save you money because the only way to save money is to use less electricity so or, or gas. So, you know, just switch off lights. <laughs> use less electricity, use less gas, just be a bit more energy savvy. Um, what's the point of them then? Well, the point of smart meters, and this is the big smart meter scam, is this nothing to do with saving us money, it's to do with making yet more money for the energy companies. How are they going to do this? Well, smart meters are basically data mining machines. They collect loads of data about you and your family and what you do in your house, what electrical appliances you're using, how often you use them, how long you use them for, Every all information to have anything electrical in your house, and let's face it, in a modern household, there's electrical appliances all over the place. All this information is being collected and mined from your smart meter and being sold off by the energy company to whoever they want to do whatever they want with. So that's the whole point, and that's the real reason they want everyone to have one in their house by 2020, is because it's a huge money-making machine. Now. The third main point, so we've got one, they're not compulsory, two, they're not free, they actually cost you money, three, the third main point is they're hackable. So all this information that's being collected about you and your family and what you're doing in your house by smart meters can be hacked and seen by anyone who wants to, or who has the ability to hack into your smart meter. Now apart from these privacy concerns, there's also a huge security concern with smart meters because if someone can hack into your smart meter, they can switch off your electricity and your gas. Now, if they hack into your smart meter and see that there's very little electrical uh, activity going on in your house, well, that means there's probably no one in the house. So that's a good time to burgle. So they can switch off your electricity remotely using the, uh, the after they've hacked into the smart meter. And so any burglar alarm you might have will be rendered useless because the, <laughs> it will be switched off by the uh, by being hacked from the smart meter. Um, also, if you can hack into someone's uh, electrical smart meter or gas smart meter and switch gas and electricity on and off, that's got to be a concern for explosions or fires, surely. If you can switch someone's electricity and gas on and off, there's got to be a worry there, but I've yet to hear anyone talk about that. Um, also in America, the fourth concern is there's health concerns with smart meters because they are, although we're being told about how often they communicate, they are communicating all the time, backwards and forwards. It's basically like having a mobile phone on all the time, 24 hours a day in your, in your house. Um, but also the health effects of people like getting headaches and feeling lethargic and having all kinds of health problems is because although it's low frequency radiation, it's the way it's pulsed interferes with your blood cells and the way your blood cells communicate. Um, I'll put details underneath this video with with links so you can see for yourself but do your own research get informed so that's four fourth main point health concerns the fifth main point is the fires although watchdog have talked about the installation fires in america and canada hundreds of thousands of smart meters have had to be recalled because they're causing fires due to arcing happening within the smart meters because they're cheaply made so what is the point of them <laughs> well we know what the point is to make more money so one First main point, they're not compulsory. Two, they don't save you money, in fact it costs you money. Three, they can be hacked, privacy, security concerns. Um, four, <laughs> uh, health concerns, uh, a lot of health problems to do with smart meters being reported in America. And five, the fires, as well as installation fires, smart meters themselves are causing fires. So those are five main points you need to know about smart meters. And I hope that Watchdog and other programs will make these points very clear to viewers because it's important. Because we're being sold this lie that smart meters are being, you know, put in our houses to, for our 
benefit to save us money couldn't be further from the truth. They're dangerous, privacy concerns, health concerns, and they're not compulsory, and it's just to make even more money for the energy companies. So smart meters, just say no. Thank you.